Hi everybody. In today's video, I am going to talk about command pattern in C Sharp with an example. The command pattern is a behavioral design pattern that encapsulates requests as objects, allowing you to parameterize objects with different requests, delay their execution, or support undoable operations. In this video, we'll implement the command pattern in .NET 9 with support for undo and redo, using a bank account system to manage deposit and withdrawal operations. Why use the command pattern? The command pattern is ideal for decoupling, separating the invoker of a command from the logic that executes it, extensibility, easily adding new commands without modifying existing code, state management, supporting undo and redo to maintain application state predictably. In a bank account example, undo redo functionality allows users to reverse or reapply deposit and withdrawal operations. General structure of the command pattern, command interface, concrete commands, invoker, client. This general structure can be adapted to a wide variety of scenarios, including task schedulers, transaction systems, and user interface actions. So far, everything has been just word and explanations, so let's jump to Visual Studio and see something real. To make things easier and save time, I've already created the full solution. Let's start by looking at the Interfaces folder. In this folder, I've created the iCommand interface, which contains two simple method signatures, execute and undo. That's all. Nothing is difficult so far. The next is the Entities folder, which contains the account model. Account entity has just an ID and a balance property. And now, the account service inside the service folder. This class contains three simple method and a constructor. We initialize the account inside the constructor, which is so obvious. Deposit increase the balance and print a method and withdraw, take a certain amount from the balance and print a message as you can see. There is also a method to print the balance at console. Commands, deposit command and withdraw command. Both should be an implementation of iCommand interface. In the deposit command, we should instantiate the account service and then execute fires the deposit method of the service and undo, withdraw the respected amount from the balance. Withdraw command is kind of the same. Execute would run the withdraw method from the service and undo brings the money back to the balance to undo the respected action. If you remember, we did talk about an invoker as part of command pattern. So, let's have a look at our invoker inside the solution. I named it command invoker and created it inside the invoker folder. Undo and redo is the nice part of command pattern, so having stack is not so strange. One for undo and the other one for redo. In the execute command, we fire the command and then makes the stack ready for any possible undo action. If you are familiar with stack, push and pop, then two other method also are very easy to understand. Especially the redo is same as execute command but undo fires the undo method from the commands. My client now is my program.cs. I have created an instance from the service class. Then, I did deposit money so my balance increased, and then I did withdraw again. The result of undo and redo also is clear since I am showing you the result. So much, and see you so next much. time. And see you next time.